are to Shark Fitness Green. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, and this is Catherine. If yes. you haven't watched the videos before, we are going to make a shark today. Um, the first thing that we need to do is show where the water ends. And this is kind of halfway down your page. I would do it a little bit lower than halfway down your page just so that you can see where your water is and have plenty of room for your shark. Now your line can be a little bit wavy. Um, it can be more straight. If you want to do a different kind of wave shape, you can do that. Um, but the first thing you need to do is draw the line where your waves or the top of your water is going to end. Um, Catherine's using a pencil. I would say use a pencil if you have one. I'm going to use a marker just so that you can see it better on the video. But let's go ahead and a little lower than halfway. Let's just draw that line in. So kind of like this. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. So now we're going to do our shark body. And the shark body, he's really shaped kind of like a mountain. Mm -hmm. He's not a perfect triangle. He doesn't come to a point at the top, but it's sort of a rounded triangle shape. So I'm going to start kind of towards the edge of one side of my paper. And I'm just going to make that sort of mountain shape up and right back down. Take that. Mm -hmm. All right, now shark eyes are kind of on the side of the shark's face. They're not here in the middle, but more on the outside. Um, we drew some little sample shark faces. That one's our favorite. Well, there's lots of good ones, but <laughs> you can kind of choose what kind of eyes, if you'd rather have more oval shaped, or if you'd rather have your shark making a winky face or some other face, or you want your shark wearing sunglasses or something else, your eyes can be a little bit different from mine. Um, but I'm gonna do circle eyes close to the top of the head, not on the very top, but you know, a little farther up and I'm gonna make sort of circle shapes toward the outside edge of my shark. And I'm gonna go ahead and color in the pupil, the black part on the inside, just so you can see it. And if you wanna leave little white highlights, the hot spots, the little white part that reflects in the eye, you can leave those white if you want to. You may want to wait and color yours in when you have your crayons or markers or pencils or whatever you're using. All right, that's good. Okay, so now for the mouth. Again, you can choose if you're doing happy shark, sad shark, whatever kind of shark. Again, we gave <laughs> you some examples. Um, if you want to do sort of a big open mouth that's sort of more frowny, if you want some shark teeth in there. This is more, this shows the shark teeth, but it has kind of a smiley face. Um, <laughs> This one, if you wanted lips or something like that, or if you just want it to look a little, you can do a face that's like that too. So you choose what kind of mouth you want. Um, I guess since I did a kind of a big sort of frowny shape here, and that's like an, a rainbow shape with a little rainbow under it, I might do more of a happy shark in this one. But you can choose how you want your mouth to be. All right, now I want teeth in mine. And you can choose if you do a lots of teeth or just a few teeth. I think who I'm doing. Rita Collar Shark. Rita Collar Shark. I like that. Very creative. All right, so basically that's your shark. Now, use whatever you have to add color. Um, I just used crayons on mine. You could use colored pencils. It'd be a fun time to use watercolor if you have watercolor. Um, you could use markers, whatever you want to use. But I will show you too. Um, these are the four crayons I used. I didn't have a gray, so I just used a black and I colored lightly for my shark. Um, from the inside of my shark's mouth, I used the same crayon and I just colored a little bit heavier. Um, to make it a little bit different, I had these little crayons and you can unwrap your crayons as long as your parents say it's okay. But you can also use your crayons on their side. And that's another good way to color with your crayons. I did the same thing when I was coloring my background. If you wanna add little clouds or if you wanna do your shark at night, if you wanted to do a rainbow behind your shark or a sunshine sky, think about what you're going to put around your shark and how you're going to color it in. Um, if you had something like googly eyes at your house, you could always do that instead of drawing in your eyes. Um, if you didn't have crayons or wanted to do something different, you could cut out pages from a magazine as long as whoever at your house said it was okay to cut out the magazines. So there's not one way you have to do your shark. Um, I would love to see what you guys come up with. Uh, post them in the comments so we can see your really creative sharks. There's Catherine's Frida Kahlo shark. If anybody knows about her. <laughs> She's another great artist. All right. Thank you.